The first inhabitants of Rab, centuries before Christ, were the Liburnians. They were known as skilled seafarers who engaged in fishing, livestock farming, trade, and piracy. Although the Greeks had already established a colony on the northern Adriatic coast at the mouth of the river Po in the 6th century BC called Adria, after which the entire Adriatic Sea is named, we find no traces of Greek colonization on the island of Rab. At the time, the Liburnians were much too strong to allow the Greeks to settle on their land. In the year 129 BC, the Romans conquered the Liburnians. With time, the Liburnians adopted the language and the traditions of the Romans and disappeared as a nation. They left behind them a very specific and interesting trace of their culture, a kind of grave marker called tzipus, that was expensive and could only be afforded by wealthy individuals. Two such grave markers have been discovered on the Rab. One of them was removed from the sea, telling us that a large section of what was then the coastline had been flooded over the centuries as sea levels rose. Since the arrival of the Romans, sea levels in the Barbat Channel have risen around two meters, and some remnants of the ancient docking infrastructure can still be seen in the shallowest waters. After the Liburnians, the island of Rab was inhabited by the Romans. During their centuries-long rule, the Romans left behind much more material evidence of their presence, such as the remnants of luxury villas, cisterns, graves, ceramics, money, and various other objects. These can be found around Bagnol as well as Barbat. The Romans divided the land, creating large estates, but also small village farms, and carried out the first major forest clearing effort. They introduced olive growing and viticulture. The spread of Christianity on the Rab begins to gain momentum in the 5th and 6th centuries, when we begin to see the first churches being raised next to Roman villas. During a brief period of Ostrogoth rule, the Byzantine Empire reasserted its rule over Rab in the 6th century. Byzantine rulers retained control of the island up until the 11th century, but during the 10th and 11th centuries, Croat kings occasionally governed in their name. In the second half of the 11th century, King Kresimir IV integrates Rab into the Kingdom of Croatia and Dalmatia. During this time, with the king's permission, the Benedictine Monastery of St. Peter is built in Supetarska Draga. In the 12th century, the island comes under the rule of Venice and remains so all the way until the fall of the Venetian Republic in 1797. After that, Napoleon controls the island for a brief period, followed by the Habsburgs. In 1922, after a short period of occupation by Italy, Rab becomes part of Yugoslavia. When Yugoslavia falls apart in 1991, Rab is part of the newly independent Republic of Croatia.